What up all my foodies and foodettes? Today on Hidden Gems, we're going to the jerk joint. I'm by myself, as you can see. Beautiful day out in Toronto. Sun's out, everything's proper. So let's go check out this restaurant, see what it's like. It's supposed to be really good. So let's see what's going on. Hidden Gems, featuring T-Styles? Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Everything I do in a performance, I try to look at it as I'm earning the right to do it. Hi, how are you? What's your name? Great, Sabrina. Sabrina, nice to meet you, Sabrina. Mr. Man in the back, what's your name, sir? Charles. Charles. Charles is the mastermind right here. We're at the jerk joint. It's Saturday, it's a beautiful day. So Sabrina's gonna tell us, what should we get, Sabrina? Sure, um, what are you guys interested in? Spicy, sweet, kind of savory? Uh, spicy. Spicy. Well, it's really good is jerk pork, or um, just curry chicken, or jerk chicken. Okay. You know what the coconut cream over here is? I'm telling you, it's real. The coleslaw coming off the side. Yes, please. Sabrina's out here doing the absolute most. Look at us up. <laughs> you guys are too much. I want to connect with the idea that, like, yo, like, sometimes a heartbroken man breaks hearts. <laughs> Titus 115 is about like it's a it's a it's, it's a guy who's now a man being interrogated for the crimes that he made when he was a boy but it's like like it's just a feeling that like yo I've made big man level crimes and I'm a boy and I don't understand it and, and I don't want to fess up to it and it's like I was young and like don't be mad at me and the album is essentially just a man's struggle with acknowledging that like yo he messed up and, and all the effects that that had and everything. So every song on the album is a direct reflection of something you've been through personally? If I tell the truth, I'm not going to say her name. The album is an apology to this girl that I know. Um, you know her. We've talked about it many times. Yeah. You came from the jerk joint. How do you feel about it? The jerk joint? No words. Absolutely no words. The food was amazing. Shout out to Sarah. She went above and beyond to make our food amazing. She was on point. She was on point with that. Bang on. The chef at the jerk is guy named Charles. He chopped up some sauteed onions, caramelized onions, and he put them in the jerk pork, which you would think wouldn't be good, but the way he did it, I've never seen that done before a day in my life. They went out there, they did their thing, the jerk joint. If you ever need some good jerk, obviously, every time you get jerk, it's a little pricey. It's not cheap. We're not talking about no McDonald's prices. 
you know, hungry for some jerk chicken, you know, hungry for some jerk pork. They had off still, they had curry goat on the menu, everything was good to go. I might have to recommend the jerk joint. The best part about it, it's hidden in plain sight. It's right across the street from CTV. It's just, there's no way, there's no place to sit, but that's a small price to pay for the flavor you're getting and the amazing level of food that you're getting. It's a small price to pay, but it's right on the corner of Queen and John. Check it out. You already know the directions are in the description below. Like, comment, check the link for T Styles' last video. Show is coming out. Show's coming up June 9th. Album will be out after that. Doing a little party avenue on the 26th of June. Any artist who wants to get their record played in a big party and they want to bring some people out and have a good time, hit me up. T Styles is your boy. We're doing some things this summer, man. We're trying to go. 100 for 100. Burns on us what that means. Let's get it. Let's get it. Thanks for watching. Is your are you a Christian rapper? Yeah. You're a Christian rapper first. So God is obviously a big influence in your music and God is obviously a big part of your music. Yeah. So how hard is it is it to let people engage with you and bang with you? Like how they would um a Drake or like a Tory Lanez or someone someone else rapping. Because not a lot of people really like Christian rap music. Yeah. It's tough because some of my bangers could only bang so hard as they say. You know what I'm saying? Um but it's also in me, like to push the envelope further, to live more life, to become more mature, to write songs that touch to the core of emotion. The timeless songs are the songs that are universal, you know? Some of the Michael Jackson songs that had an adult meaning were presented in a way that I could hear them as a kid. And as I get older, they grow with me because the, the themes and the concepts are so mature, but the presentation was so universal. And I don't think hip hop music has done that yet. I, don't, I think hip hop music is adult, for adult, aggressive, always. I think that's how it's supposed to be and that's fine. But it would be great if there was an artist who could take the universal abilities of like a Michael Jackson or, 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 or even other musical genres presented in hip hop so that the themes are mature, but the presentation is universal. And that that's what I'm trying to get to. And I think if I can get to that, then me being Christian or whatever whatever the case may be, um, I don't think that's an obstacle. I think that's just something that will add layers and dynamics to, to what I'm doing. Pretty interesting. Yeah. So what's, something, what's one thing you want to tell everyone about the album without actually giving the album away. Ooh. Number one thing I want to tell people about the album is some crimes don't stay hidden. And, and obviously Titus one, obviously Titus 115, I don't reference it directly in the album. It is the title, but I never say what the verse means. Um, and the verse essentially says, all is pure to those who are pure, but to those who do not believe all things are corrupt. Like I've paraphrased it obviously aggressively. If you have the ears to hear it as a listener, I'm telling you absolutely everything you need to know about me. On Titus 115. Fresh, 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 f